Okay then, folks. So, um, I just want to uh, quickly give you a breakdown of what the whole purpose um, of the video. I've been scouring around on Facebook a little bit and there's been a bit of, of a mini debate this particular um, subject. So I thought I'd just knock a little uh, video together and um, obviously I can point anyone in, to, in the direction of it if they are interested in a watch. So as you can see by the thumbnail, there's a tin of Farrumble paint and basically people have been saying that it can't be sprayed and it's not very good and general bit of dislike towards it really. Personally, I think it's quite nice paint to spray. A few downsides to it, um, it takes a hell of a long time to dry, two, three days sometimes before it's fully cured. I've, I mean, I've had it where I've sprayed it and it's still been tacky two days later, like you can feel, you can feel the tackiness on your, on your fingers when you touch it. So just be wary of that there is a lot more fast drying stuff out there um but as far as durability goes and sp sprayability if that's a word um it, i think it's really nice it sprays beautiful atomizes really nice when you get that uh viscosity just right um obviously according to the needle and the gun you're using um but yeah i mean Take a look at the video. Obviously, if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, obviously, just walk away. I'm not sure if um, you do already, but if you don't, follow me on Instagram. The link in the description. If you get five minutes, feel free, have a little click on there, follow it. If you, if you like what you see, follow me. Um, I do a lot more on Instagram than I do on YouTube. Little snippets, I make little one minute videos or sub one minute videos. Just what I'm getting up to during the day, during the week. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bit of prep on this unit I've got. If you do follow me on Instagram, you'll know which unit it is. Give it a bit of a sand, <clears throat> get the paint mixed. Um, and yeah, so sit back, grab the popcorn and I hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you. What I've done is I've poured in uh, 300 mil of paint and I've took that up to the 400. I'm going to whisk that up. <coughs> Okay, so I get a lot of people ask me what gun do I use, what paint do I use, how much do I thin it, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you check my backlog, you'll know what guns I use, you'll know what primer I use. Um, the prep work is pretty much all the same, obviously job dependent, um, but I'll just go over quickly now. So the gun is nothing special. This is a, a Parkside Lidl brand. It cost me about 14 pounds. and. To be honest, for 14 quid, the finish that it gives me is absolutely amazing. I'd put that up against a 250 pound gun. Um, I wouldn't spray a car with it, but for this purpose, it's perfect. I think it's perfect anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna um, strain it now. I use a little, um, a little kitchen strainer, really fine meshed one. I'm gonna strain that in there. It's very important, always strain your paint because even new tins of paint, it could be some sort of where it skins over if it's been sat there for a long time or anything like that. So always strain your paint. It's prepped and then we can get spray into the front part really.
invincible.